Hello and welcome my wonderful friends, how are you doing today? It's Chris here and today we're going to talk about the Parang Mantids. So it's week three, not that much overall has changed, of course some of them are getting bigger, but there's actually a pretty wide variety of sizes in the tank right now, something that I, not, I would not have expected. I would have expected all of them to grow at the exact same, uh, you know, uh, rate and uh, they would be pretty much the same size, but no, some of them are really big and some of them are just a little bit smaller. Now I do understand that when they molt they get really, really big and then they have to keep that exoskeleton for a long time, so I do understand that aspect to it, but still it's it's a pretty wide array of, of sizes in there. So let's go ahead and show you guys some of these um, praying mantids. Um, overall, like I said, nothing too much has changed so far. So let me know if you guys want to see something special. I know I'm going to get a food video up for you guys pretty darn soon. But here, let's just show you guys a couple of these these guys really quick. So um, here's one right here just sitting on the stick over there. He's actually pretty darn fun. I think next time that I'm, I'm actually going to tank, take them out of the aquarium and I can hold them on my hand for you guys. But they're still just a little bit too small. I don't want to, uh, you know, break a leg or, you know, accidentally kill one of them by, you know, trying to show you guys. I'm, I'm going to try and keep, uh, keep my distance as much as possible for now until they get a little bit bigger. So we can actually see, oh, maybe we'll catch a, catch one of these guys catching a fly. Ooh, maybe. Ooh, we got a chance here, guys. Ooh, we got a mega chance. I have, it's very hard to catch, uh, catch these guys catching them. Oh, look at that. He's doing a little dance right now. Ooh, very exciting. He's doing his little, like, I'm getting blown by the wind. I'm just a leaf. Don't worry, little fly. I'm going to walk real, real slow at you. I am one with the wind. One with the stick. Don't worry. I'm not going to eat you too much. Mm -hmm. I'm evil. So he's still going very, very slow. I think he's waiting for a fly to get a little bit closer to him. They do a very, very fast pounce, though. I promise, like I said, I will get a food video for you guys pretty darn soon, showing you guys, uh, you know, uh, the prime is eating quite a bit of food. Though it is very hard to catch. I, you know, I'm just getting lucky right here that he's uh, even going towards or even looking at it at the moment. Again, like I said, look at him. He's doing a little bit of a dance, trying to pretend like the wind is blowing him a little bit. <laughs> that's just what they do. They try to pretend, uh, you know, to be a leaf slash a stick. And that's how they catch uh, a lot of their insects. But usually I have so many in there that it's not a big deal. They really don't have to try that much to uh, catch them. Sadly, I have... Uh, it's kind of hard to keep all the flies perfectly in balance with my fruit fly cultures. Basically, I have uh, I had one culture that died already. No, two cultures that died already completely. Not died, but you know, died out from just having so many flies. And I have two cultures you know, going right now. Um, one of them is has got worms slash grubs actually uh, um, you know just about to go into the pupil stage most of them I just have you know just a few little baby 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 little uh, uh, worms in there or grubs or whatever you want to call them man so here we go come on he's taking forever like I said maybe I'll just get another video you know of them eating um, where I can cut out all of the extra footage over here because this is obviously um, not going so well for me right now. We'll give it another, like, 30 seconds. If he doesn't catch anything, then we're gonna hop on over and talk about the other praying mantids. Because there's one just to the right of him that is actually quite gigantic, so we're gonna keep it at least in, uh, in focus right now. You can see there's actually three of them on the screen right now, I think. There's one on the paper towel, there's one on the black thing, and there's a bigger one, the biggest one, on the, uh, uh right side of the black shale. So yeah, it looks like he's not going to catch any of these flies right now. They just got to move towards him just a tiny bit, and he will be able to catch them. But it's not looking good. Oh, no, we got to focus. Definitely don't want to miss it. All right, so we're going to call it a day for that. At least you got to see him dance a little bit. You know, maybe we'll go back to him and see if we'll catch it, or at least maybe get a little bit of eating in there. So here's the biggest one. Um, here's, let's see if I can get a good one. Here we go. This is decent. Here's the biggest one. I think this biggest one in the tank. He's actually in his... Oh, he might catch one, too. Look at that, man. They're so close. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Let's see, there's another one trying to creep up on him. Oh, he sees the fly too. Oh, they're going for it. They might battle for it. Okay, this is a lot more exciting than I would have thought, guys. Oh, there's a third one coming in from the right side over there. Oh, snap horrific right now. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, man, it's like their teamwork. It's like they're wolves right now. Oh, that one just jumped up there. Did you see that? That was pretty sweet. Sick nasty right there. They got mad hops. He's a little bit afraid now. He's like, oh, what's that one doing? What is he doing up there? He's just climbing away. He's looking away from the flower right now. Maybe he's not that hungry. Again, this is the biggest one. So you can tell the size difference right now. Um, quite drastic. Uh, he's, you know, about two times as tall and maybe almost one and a half times in length. 
His arms, you can tell, just are so darn gigantic over here. Still just has his antenna straight up, just like, what the heck is going on? Where's that guy going? Oh, he's all the way up there. I think I can do that a little bit later. Alright, so yeah, like I said, very, very hard to catch them eating. Even when the fly is right there, they like to take their time. They're patient. They just wait for the food to come to them, and then, boom, they just grab it right away. They're very, very quick, though, with it. So again, I'll promise, I promise I'll get a video for you guys pretty darn soon of them eating. But uh, for the most part, I just wanted to show them off really quick. They look really, really cool overall. Ah, maybe we'll go back to it. Let's see if the other... Oh, the other one! Oh, wait. Oh, he's just about there. Oh, don't miss it, Chris. Don't miss it. It's very dirty on the outside of the tank. Oh, he's got it. I think he's got it, right? Oh, he's eating it. Oh, yeah, he's eating it right now. Ooh, awesome. So he's eating the fly right now, alive, of course. Yes, I know, kind of crazy, kind of scary. But he is eating it. Let's see if I can get a better... Ah, it's just like I can't get a good angle on this thing. There's no way to get a good angle. If I can go all the way over here, maybe I can reach over to the other side with my amazatastic zoom. But through the glass, it's obviously a little bit on the difficult side. But there it is. Let's see. Pretty good zoom through the glass. But, again, not perfect. It's been pretty far away right now. And that's about 40 times zoom right now, so kind of ridiculous. But there he is, he's just slowly eating the fly alive. The fly is obviously trying to escape, but he just holds on, he doesn't even care. Those guys are still over there, just, you know, waiting for the fly a little bit. And then, uh, you know what, let's talk about these guys really quick. Um, I've got, I believe, two more, so let's see if I can uh, move the light over really quick. Uh, there's two more over here. This one is another one of the big ones. He's pretty darn big. You can actually see this one turning green a little bit. So you know, normally praying mantids are green. So you can finally see the green color coming out. Um, it seems like as babies, they're more of a brown color, maybe to blend in more with the dirt. And then uh, as they get a little bit older, maybe they grow up and they you know climb the plants a little bit more. And that's why these guys are turning a little bit green. Maybe also it just has something to do with the fact that he's on a green plant quite a bit. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. But you can see the size difference again, maybe not quite as good with, uh, you know, this angle right here, but there's one there and one there. Size difference, eh, I don't know, he's probably a little bit bigger, definitely a little bit bigger. Nothing uh, as crazy as the other side, the other side though. Um, last thing is my plant died just about, yeah, so I'm hoping that it uh, lasts maybe another couple weeks or so and I might have to replace it or just get rid of it. I know that I didn't keep much dirt in here at all, I have just the cocoa mulch and stuff like that just basically being the dirt. So I kind of understood that it might not, might not work out perfectly. There's just another regular one over here, just chilling. Right now, I think I have 11 of them. I think I have 11 overall. So, um, hopefully we can keep uh, 11 of them as adults. You know, may, I, I might have 10. I don't know if I uh, counted right. But hopefully we can keep those guys uh, alive. Oh, look at that. Is that the one from down on the bottom? He just climbed up here. Did he climb all the way up? Yeah, I think he did. That was the big one. That's really crazy. He was just like, see you later, and he just decided to go up to the top of the, you know, aquarium right now. Oh, he just turned straight around, man, look at that. So praying mantis are the, one of the only uh, insects that can turn their heads all the way around, so that's very, very interesting the way they do that. They can see pretty much everything everywhere. Alright, though, I think that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. This guy, ooh, he's actually got, oh, let's see if I can get a good picture of this, man, I don't know. He officially ripped the uh, fly in half, I think. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No, it's not going to let me zoom this time. Just got to focus. Go slow. Oh, that's about as good as we're going to get, guys. So he ripped the fly. It looks like in half he's eating like just under the head right now. At least that's what it looks like to me. Just like pulling it apart with his two arms. Very exciting. You can see his little thorax is like pulsating over there. You know, filling up with food and all that stuff. <laughs> kind of exciting. Anyways, that is all I'm gonna have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed this uh, this kind of kind of weird video, God, I'm still zoomed in like crazy. If you enjoyed this kind of weird video, please press the like button. I promise I'll get some more videos for you guys up in the future. If you have anything specific that you want to see besides the feeding video, which I promise I'll get up for you guys pretty soon, let me know in the comments. And have a super duper delicious day.